Hi, I'm Rod Thompson and this is What's Left. I'm on the bike today to make a point. There's no cheaper energy than the energy that I'm using right now. The energy to power my bike. It's fun. It keeps me in shape. And it'll get me back and forth to work very efficiently. Only one problem. The roads really haven't been developed for me to go back and forth to work like I want to. So, there's a thing called light rail. I can jump on the light rail with my bike, jump off downtown, and it's a, it's a quick five minute ride to where I work. So I don't get sweaty. Light rail is actually cheaper if you're looking at going to work than getting in a car and sitting in traffic and going 15 miles an hour. By the way, when you're on that train, you can get some work done. You can't do that when you're driving into work. So there's my first point. But here's my second point. Solar's day is near. It's almost on parity with coal. In fact, in a short two years, it's going to be on parity with coal. What's that mean for transportation? It means people are going to realize that it's no longer so expensive to put solar on their roof. They get a five-year ROI and then energy is free forever after that, right straight from the sun. 40-year life expectancy of most solar panels. So if you have an electric car, you stick it on charge, you charge it overnight, and then during the day, your solar panels make up for what you use during the day. And as the, the price goes down, you'll be able to heat your whole house on solar power as well as power your car. So remember, electric cars are doing exactly what cell phones did. They're being bought up by the rich at very high prices and pretty soon those prices are going to come down as you and I start buying loads and loads of solar panels. And here's the most important part. If we can get the government to get on our side and get off the side of big oil and create some light subsidies to help the new businesses get started like they did with every major business, like they did with the telegraph, like they did with the railroad. If we get government to do what it does best, which is to partner with business and stop trying to pretend that every time there's a failure, like Solyndra, that the whole thing needs to fall apart. I'm Rod Thompson, and that's what's left.